creative living. Utilizing today's technology with the best of the past to bring you innovative ideas and up-to-date information for creative lifestyles in today's active world. With your host, Cheryl Borden. Marissa, thank you so much for being here. I'm going to assume we're going to do something with bright colors when you're here. <laughs> Definitely. Um, we're going to do something really fun, easy, with scissors and t-shirts. Okay. We're going to make this fabulous accessory. Oh, so this is made from t-shirts. It's all made of t-shirts. It's a really fun cutting technique. And this is like a, a scarf. You can throw it on. But it also has a, an element of... Uh, you know, customizable function where you can unpin these. You could take those off and wear them separately, couldn't separately, you? Separately, uh -huh. or you could rearrange them. You could add more, take them apart, you know. Cute, cute. Lots of okay. options. <laughs> yeah, and the fabric is what makes it twirl. Yeah, this jersey uh -huh. fabric, when you pull on it, it twirls, and uh -huh. you're, you're not going to believe how easy this is okay. to do. Okay, well, I'm anxious to see, but as you mentioned, we use scissors, and, and it's important to use the right tools, whether we're crafting, sewing, making cards, or whatever, and you really do believe that. Oh, yeah, I believe in using the best tools, and these make all the difference, and the different designs of these scissors really help you uh, perform different craft techniques, and I'm excited to show you this fun project. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so, I like to start off with four different size t-shirts. Um, it just makes it easier. See how these kind of uh -huh. layer like this? So that like the work's already done. Then you don't have to do <laughs> measuring. <laughs> I don't want to measure. I don't want to sew. I want to make things really, really easy. Uh -huh. Yeah, easy and fun. And I've got my favorite scissors, which are my extreme edge scissors with the adjustable tension. It's, it's flat along the bottom, so you can get right along the you table, can just, can't you? Uh -huh. just, cut, just like that. And you What's want that? to um, adjust the tension with this little key. So you can loosen them up to hack through many layers and with that, ease. And that comes with the scissors. When yeah, you, it comes with it. And it makes for a really fun little gadget. And it really does come in handy. Uh -huh. When you're cutting different materials, you, you want to adjust the tension. And it's oh. great. <laughs> or if you're working on uh, paper, of course, then that's very thin. Yeah, these are titanium bonded. You can use them on paper, uh, fabric. You don't have to switch between your fabric oh. scissors and your paper scissors. Those huh. are the old days. Those are the old this days. Is okay. the future of scissors. So all I'm going to do is cut through several layers at once. and So you take your t-shirts and basically you line them up along the bottom, yeah. not on the neck. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like to save. You know, I'm, I'm a saver and I like to be thrifty. So even though these are t-shirts uh, that I bought, you could also use recycled t-shirts, sure. so tie-dye mm -hmm. t-shirts. And I'm just going to cut. Or ones that have spots in certain places, uh, as long as the spots aren't down there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, cut away from the stain. Uh huh. Gosh, and, and you're going through, really, it's eight layers. Uh, yeah, eight layers. I almost uh -huh. lost count of how many layers it is. Mm -hmm. And so I would probably actually tighten them up. That just, you know, shows we can get the perfect tension. I'll tighten mm -hmm. them up, and then I won't have that problem. I'm and so I see excited why to show cutting, these to you. <laughs> yeah, and cutting all four at once, like you say, you get all the cutting part. That's always been my least favorite in sewing is the cutting out. Then yeah. Then I, I love the sewing. Yeah, now you're going to love to cut. Mm. It is fun. So I just there. cut off that part, and uh -huh. so now I just, because now I want to get that raw edge, because that's where the really fun uh, rolling comes in. So oh. then you're going to cut another uh, length down, and it's about, you know, three or four inches. Mm-hmm. And you would cut all the way across. It's kind of a long piece. When you were mentioning <laughs> that that's the old way to sew, that was one thing I learned growing up. My mother always threatened all the kids <laughs> that don't ever touch my sewing scissors. You can, you know, use a different pair for cutting or whatever right. you're making uh, out of paper. She, well, it's nice. I've raised my children screaming that at them too so I guess I didn't need to now. She would, she would hide them or maybe she would have needed one of my holsters to, to keep them hey, away from you right. kids. You know I'm surprised you didn't have your holster on. Yeah. You know, those are handy because I, I have one that you gave me before in my craft room because I have so much stuff out that I lay my scissors down and lose them. Yeah. So if great. I can put it in my holster I've got them with me. Holsters are perfect for keeping track of your scissors and I design them in a bunch of different patterns. I like it. Uh -huh. Customize uh, to suit your style. So back to this. So so now I've got this this piece cut out, uh -huh. and it's um, you're just going to take. You could do several at once. Uh, these are great for cutting through several layers. But basically, what you do is you'd want to fold, fold your piece over, mm -hmm. and these are the um, 
titanium bonded micro tip scissors, six inch micro tip. And they give you a lot of control due to the design of them. They have extra large handles and they cut right through these little So you're basically snips. cutting the length of the scissors so you don't have to go through and mark it. No marking, the measuring, are... <laughs> all that stuff. You know, if you want, you could use pins and you could pin it. Uh -huh. um, but you don't need to. Yeah, uh -huh. and, and you just cut these little strips. Uh, and yeah, I went ahead uh -huh. <laughs> and did some ahead of time. These ones, yeah. I pinned them. And so I'll take the pins out. And you can see that you're left with a piece that's it's basically kind of like a, a ladder. It looks like this. But oh. the fun thing about this is when you pull it, you get this effect. And this is the really Oh my fun gosh, thing. I didn't know how you were going to make that work. <laughs> so easy. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just kind of came up with that one day and thought, oh, well, that's cool. I bet I could do a lot of stuff with that. So uh -huh. we've got all these. Yeah, you just pull them. Uh -huh. And you would create all your little necklaces and scarves like that. And then, of course, I like to embellish, because you know Ooh, I yes. like to embellish. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> so the way you want to embellish is you can make these fun flower pins. Like I said, you can just you know use them individually. Uh -huh. You could even attach a barrette to this. And, and some of the scraps that you have left from these projects, the yeah, arms like you could have or scraps whatever. like uh -huh. this and um, cut through multiple layers you know, using your scissors. And these wow. are great for getting uh -huh. in those tight and tricky areas. Uh -huh. And then all you would do is, you know, choose your, your flowers of different sizes and layer them up, choosing your different colors. And then you pick a nice little button like that. And then you just sew, sew a little pin back on the needle and thread. <laughs> oh, yes, so you're doing a little sewing. Yeah, a little that. sewing, and you know how that all goes. I kind of pre-sewed these ones ahead of time, and then you would just, you put know, you've got them together. all, two uh -huh. or three, and then the fun thing is you could you can put less or more, you can wear all four at once, and then just take your little flower pin, open it up. And that, that also holds them all holds three them together, together in the colors that you might want. Yeah, and you know, you have a nice thing with this. Cute. And I even made one special for you. I was going to say, you. this one's kind of <laughs> my favorite colors, black I know, and white. I, I like you to, like you that. know, customize my gifts for uh -huh. people's style. So this and one look is at inspired these. by you. You know, and we all have maybe one left of, of a really beautiful button. That's a good way to use it. Definitely, yeah. Oh. Our button falls off somewhere. You can recycle it, upcycle it, uh -huh. make things out of your old t-shirts. I never would have thought what you were doing would turn into <laughs> the, the curled necklace. Well, thank you very much, Marissa. This looks like a fun project. Thank you.